to Sissons. Well, I have with me now three um, Tory golden oldies closely associated with the high noon of Thatcherism, Nicholas Ridley, George Younger and Alan Clark, have all now quit politics. It's often said, Nick Ridley, that oppositions don't win elections, governments lose them. Wasn't this result made possible by the ditching of Margaret Thatcher and her hated poll tax? Well, on the maxim that you put forward that uh, oppositions uh, uh, lose elections, uh, this election was lost by the opposition. And I think that is uh, very much to be argued. But if you'd still been stuck with the poll tax, this election result probably would not have been possible. I don't actually believe that. I believe that the basic factor in all elections, this one included, are the economics, economic policy and the trust that the people have in the management of the economy by the different parties. And I think the weakest part of the Labour and the Liberal plan was their economic policies for dealing with the uh, recession and the future. Uh, I think that fundamentally undermined them because it carried no confidence whatsoever. The idea that spending more money on education, desirable though it may be, is in some way going to be a contribution to getting out of this immediate recession. Well, it'll be 15 years before those people who've educated better get into a position where they can make a contribution in industry. It was totally unconvincing. Could Margaret Thatcher have carried this victory off? Yes, I think she could have done. Even though she all was credit, so, Don't we forget how deeply unpopular she'd become, how, how divided the Tory party had become over Europe? Well, you, you say all these things, but uh, uh, I actually believe that uh, she could have won it, and I believe John Major uh, deserved to win it. I think almost any able and competent leader could have won this election. All credit to John Major for, for doing so, but I, I don't believe that there are any lessons from that. Alan Clark, do you wish Margaret Thatcher was still leading the Tory party? No, I think that uh, she did us wonderful service, but I think that we had exactly the right man, and I don't really agree with Nick. I think the course of the campaign proved this. I mean, it was his uh, combination of guts and decency that, that changed our fortunes. I don't think the polls were wrong all the way through. I, it is inconceivable the polls should have been caricaturing it to that extent all the way through. You don't think I, Margaret Thatcher could have won it if she uh, hadn't been ditched? Well, that is so hypothetical um, that I, I don't think there's any value in pursuing it. But I think the personalities and personal qualities came into this very strongly. I think people saw through Neil Kinnett. They, got, they spotted him as a triumphalist who was being concealed from the people uh, at least halfway through the campaign. They saw John Major going out and meeting real people every hour of every day and actually getting his own personality through and they I think it was really his decent decision we can't take this risk but we've got a genuine guy we've got a fraud and and, and we must we must the, stay the, with the genuine but the, but the Tory party ruthlessly in many people's view knowing that an election had to be fought within the next two years decided that Margaret Thatcher couldn't win it for them and Mar and John Major has so the decision to it's part been, uh, with her was vindicated. It's been vindicated, if you put it like that, yes. Would you agree with that, George Younger? No, I don't think so. I, I take the view that what was done to Mrs Thatcher, if I can describe it that way, should never be done by any party to any sitting Prime Minister, and I hope that's a lesson that's learned from that. I think if Mrs Thatcher still been leading us, she would have fought a very different campaign. I think John, uh, and, and she would also have won it but very differently. I think John Major's done absolutely brilliantly. I think he's a very good Prime Minister and I think he's now got his own mandate and he will turn out to be another very great Prime Minister, although very different from Mrs Thatcher. Nick Ridley, uh, John Major apart, who were the stars, the successes of this campaign? Michael Heseltine? Well, the media do focus it tremendously on the leader. And uh, John Major got the vast uh, majority of the publicity. Uh, and that's what you see. But I don't think this is how it really looks to an awful lot of people who are in their own constituencies and are interested also in their own candidates and what's happening in their own seats. Um, I don't know who else uh, carried much weight, but we saw very little of most of the other Tories, just as we saw very little of most of the other Liberals. We didn't see anything of any other Liberal apart from Ashdown. Uh, and the same with the Labour Party too. So uh, I think it's the media who makes and breaks the exposure uh, of different politicians to the, to the, to the public. Uh, Alan Clark, why was Europe never an issue in the campaign? 
I was disappointed that it wasn't because the Labour attitude to Europe is completely craven. And they were just going to, uh, you know, they had Delors address their conference and they, they are complete Europhiles uh, in their new image, designer image. But uh, thank goodness that uh, uh, we've got John Major there because we have the UK presidency of the European Commission coming up this year. And it's absolutely critical that we have someone who's going to defend British interests rather than someone who, who actually somewhere in a small print of his manifesto said, well, actually, this is not, doesn't matter and I'm just going to sell up. Didn't all parties conspire to, to except the Liberals, the Liberal Democrats, to, to not to discuss it because the, the splits in both the main parties run so deep? No, no, conspiracies don't work like that. You, you, you can't suppress things like that. I, I suppose it was a response to uh, public interest, if you like. I mean, people, the electorate weren't particularly bothered, but I regret that. They should have been, because there was a tremendous distinction between the Labour attitude and the Conservative attitude. Tell me, each of the three of you, finally, to give, give me one word of advice for John Major. You, you've been in Parliament much longer than him, between the, the three of you. George, George Younger. Well, I think the advice I would give John Major is advice that he doesn't need because he already takes it. My advice to him would be, here you are with your own mandate, your own government, I would take a fresh look at it, and I would start by listening very hard to every lesson we can learn from what people have been saying, what people have been worried about during this election. If he does that, he'll have an enormously good chance of a most successful administration and another victory in five a years. A more time. caring face to Conservatives. A more li a, a listening f face. I mean, I think he, I'm sure he will. It's his character to do this. He will listen very hard to what everyone's said uh, everywhere, particularly in my interest in Scotland. He will listen, I'm sure, very hard to what everyone's said, and he's a listener. And that's a very strong thing for a Prime Minister with a new mandate. Mm. Nick Ridley? Yes, I agree with that, but I also think that uh, there are some very big events going to happen in the world, in Europe, and indeed in the economy field. Uh, I think he's got to be uh, thinking very deeply about the future in these uh, huge areas of policy, frightfully important. They didn't feature in the election hardly at all. But that is where the difficulties are going to come from. They're not going to come from uh, the opposition. They're going to come from uh, uh, world events, which could be fairly traumatic. And your advice to John Major? Yeah, listen, if you must, but you don't need to pay any attention. You've got all the authority you need now, and your judgment has been vindicated, and get on with it. Thank you.